Hi there, Cancer. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 22nd of July. The sun moves on the first day of this week from your sign and it won't be back for another 11 months, but it moves into Leo and this can give you a greater appreciation of the value of things. It doesn't have to be necessarily the material value. It could be more to do with the aesthetics, the things that you hold dear in terms of your life beliefs. But also this week, there are two very mighty planets cooperating together in your sign, and that is Mars and Jupiter. And when Mars and Jupiter get together, they can give us enormous confidence, a sense that we can rip down walls with our bare hands to get to our targets. But it's not a very patient aspect. And one of the downsides this week is they both go face to face with Pluto. Now you have a reputation of being someone who will go out of your way to avoid confrontation. But my experience of cancer people is that whilst that can be true for some cancers, there can also almost be other cancers who will try to get their retribution in first because almost it's a, an, over, an over emphasis of the defense mechanism that really is the downside of your sign. The upside of your sign, of course, is that you like to work collaboratively with people. And because your ruler is moon, you tune in to the vibe of situations. Well, this week, you've got to get the right balance between being true to yourself, getting people to respect you, expressing your ideas, but not absolutely pounding opposition out of the way. Because if you do, you could create an awful lot of resistance and opposition from other people. However, beautifully on Tuesday, Venus moves into one of the most sensational parts of your scope, and this can do wonders for your love life in the next three or four weeks. But it does go opposite Neptune initially, and if there is someone in your circle that you're strongly attracted to, perhaps a friend, well, take your time in building up your awareness of what this relationship is about. If you do meet someone new that you don't know anything about, they could be a bit mysterious, but that could be what turns you on. But Venus also forges a fantastic link with Jupiter and also Mars. And if you did meet somebody now, although there could be challenges, it could be quite compulsive. There may be something about them, almost karmic, that draws you towards them that may be very hard to resist. But the Sun in the second half of this week does actually square quite harshly with Saturn. What this is saying to you is that when it comes to spending money or enjoying yourself or money and anything to do with loved ones, go cautiously because you need to remind people that you're not there to always bail them out, otherwise they are never learn to take responsibility for themselves. But also you might want to be a little bit careful about what you spend that's not absolutely essential. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.